so we're inviting families who have no diagnosis, folks who have been tested in the past where the genetic testing did not yield a result or an answer, uh, families, whether it's a single offspring or multiple generations that have ectodermal dysplasias, to join us in this effort, ultimately to answer the question, why? The real motivation, of course, is the gene is an instruction manual. And if that instruction manual is not read out correctly, the product at the end of the assembly line doesn't come out normal. You can't fix a broken piece of machinery without the blueprint. So we want to find the gene, or in some cases genes, that are responsible for the different forms of ectodermal dysplasia which do not yet have an explanation. And then that will lead other investigators and other researchers to understand the pathway in which that gene works, the assembly line in which multiple genes work together to form a normal tissue or organ, and thereby ultimately find a way to better modify, adapt, correct, and I hasten to use the word cure, the problem. Without that instruction manual, there is no option.